Hello, welcome back to Calabama Cooking with Chef Lori. So glad to have you with me today. We're making chocolate waffles. Let's jump right in, guys. All right, guys, let's start with our ingredients. First, we're gonna start with our dry ingredients. We've got some flour here, okay? We're gonna add to that some sugar. The complete recipe is on my website, okay? And we're gonna add some baking powder so they can fluff up nicely, okay? And we're gonna add a little bit of salt and some baking soda, okay? We're gonna combine these together so they can get friendly. And now we're going to invite the guest of honor, the cocoa powder. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yes, you wanna use a good quality cocoa powder if you can, because it will just make this taste even better. Okay, see how we've mixed these up? This is our dry ingredients. Now we're gonna move over to our wet ingredients, okay? First thing we have here is a couple of eggs. I have two eggs here. I'm just gonna beat them lightly. We're not scrambling them, just really wanna break the yolks up, okay? Pop them in there, okay? Then we're gonna add our, put that down. <laughs> we're gonna add some vanilla. To that okay gonna start combining these this just like so and we're gonna add some buttermilk okay I've got two cups of buttermilk here again the complete recipe is on my website there we go I'm gonna add half of it first let me get this out of the whisk here there we go just like so oh yes this all mixed in nicely. I like to add my liquid in stages so I don't overwhelm the batter or the flour all at once. Okay, and then add the rest. There we go. Okay, yes. These are so delicious, so rich, so decadent. It's perfect for breakfast, <laughs> well brunch maybe, okay, maybe brunch. <laughs> There we go. See, now that we've gotten this nicely folded and incorporated in, now we can start mixing a little more vigorously. I'm gonna switch back to the whisk. Clear that off like that. Okay. There we go. Oh, perfect. And then we're gonna add some butter. Last but not least, butter. You can also use um, vegetable oil if you want to, uh, but melted butter, vegetable oil, some kind of fat just to help it have a nice texture. There we go. Oh, perfect. This is the consistency you want waffle batter to be. Pancakes can be a little bit looser, but waffle batter, you want it to have be a little lumpy. I'm gonna just drop this last little bit of milk in there. But you see, it can have some lumps in it. That's okay, that's good waffle batter, okay? All right, let's get these in the waffle iron. Well, here's my waffle iron. It's all ready to go, just follow your waffle maker instructions, okay? And I'm going to take a generous scoop here of our waffle batter and spread it all around. Oh, these smell good already, guys. I like to get everywhere. And I've sprayed this very generously with cooking spray so it doesn't stick. Here we go. Okay. There we go. I have a two-sided. <laughs> so we have twice the fun in my house. <laughs> All right, our waffle is done. Look at that. Beautiful. Put it there. The other side as well. Oh, wow. These came out perfect, guys. Look at that. Let's dress these babies up and let's get ready to chow down. Well, here's our chocolate waffle. Here's our chocolate waffle, guys. Is this not beautiful? I am, uh, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I don't, but I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start right here. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
You gotta make this. You gotta you just you gotta make it. Alright guys, thanks for being with me today. I'm gonna go eat the whole thing. Have a wonderful day. Be sure to give a comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Happy cooking. <laughs>